Breaker Boo 1 Cycle is one of the hardest strats that we implement in Luigi's Mansion speedrunning. To make this pipe dream of a strat possible, we have to utilize Boo Dragon. In general, dragging boos is not that hard, and we use it in plenty of situations throughout the speedrun. However, this time, things are going to be different. Now before we get into Breaker Boo, I'd like to preface that chances are you don't need this strat. The truth is, I don't need this strat. It only saves about 8 seconds over the traditional Van Gore Boo 2 cycle, and I grinded this out for 3-5 hours a day for 2 weeks before finding any success. Let's lay out what makes this Boo so difficult. For starters, with traditional R pumps, you should only be able to drain 150 HP, assuming you pump every 10 HP for 15 cackles. At 50 HP from the middle of the room, he's leaving with not a chance of 1 cycling him. Of course you can follow him to the end of the room for an extra 20 HP or so, but that's still not enough. So that's where Dragon comes in. To drag a boo, you will want to stand down right of the boo as you begin pumping. Now each time you R pump, you will hear the boo cackle. The cackle consists of two parts, the lower pitched cack and the higher pitched ul. Right after the cack, you'll want to move right to drag the boo and then back toward the boo as you release R. Before the boo begins to fly away, R pump again once you have stopped moving. So I have the rhythm down of dragging, so I'm ready to one cycle, right? Wrong. The rhythm of dragging the boo is only the beginning. As we drag the boo, there is always the chance that he goes too high and double cackles, or too low, and you can't get any distance in your drag. To combat this, each drag we adjust the height by holding up or down on the C-stick. You will only want to hold the C-stick as you are moving back. Adding this element makes the Breaker Boo 1 cycle the most involved strat in the game. When you begin to learn this strat, it's best to get the rhythm of dragging down before anything else. Trying to focus on the rhythm and adjusting the height of the boo at the same time can be very difficult. It's too much for the brain to process in the one second of time you spend each pump. The rhythm should be second nature, that way you can really pay attention to the height adjustment and get a good feel for it. If you find that you are getting lots of double cackles, there can be multiple reasons why. You could be too close, too far away, dragging too far, the boo could be too high, or even too low, but that one's a little rare. Once you feel that you have down the fundamentals of dragging and want to actually give it a try, here's how I would approach it. When the vacuum initially hits the boo, adjust the height so that the boo comes down. Typically the boo will spawn a little bit higher than ideal. Follow the boo before beginning to pump at 180 or 170 HP. I typically start at 180 unless the boo will reach 170 before crossing the table. It's a lot easier to time your R pump when you use friendly numbers such as 170, 180 or 175, 185. As you begin pumping, drag the boo all the way back to the barrels. If your drags are efficient and you reach the barrels, let the boo run for 10 to 20 HP before dragging him back to the barrels again. Assuming you bring the boo all the way back to the barrels, I typically find that my last pump is somewhere between 40 and 45 HP. The reason I don't want the boo to reach the table before I begin pumping is that sometimes the tablecloth can hit the vacuum making it hard to properly drag back the boo. This is extra important when doing the tech skip because it's possible to suck off the tablecloth and instantly lose the boo. Speaking of the tech skip, there is a specific way to set this up that makes the timing more lenient. Upon opening the chest after turning back on the power, hold left on the analog stick, vacuum cancel, and grab the cloth. This should allow you to grab the corner of the cloth specifically. Hold right and time letting go of the cloth with it halfway off and you have the setup. If you do not grab the corner, it makes the timing of letting go of the cloth a lot more precise. When doing this setup, it's important to try and be quick, because if the boo is in the top left barrel, it will spawn as you're pulling off the cloth. If you mess up and pull off the cloth with the boo in the top left barrel, do not land on the key with the cloth. Instead, walk into the key, then vacuum cancel for the boo. If you land on the key, Luigi will stumble after picking it up, giving the boo time to move before you can get to it. One last thing to note about this boo is that you can actually make the strat a little bit easier if he happens to be in one of the top 5 barrels on the right side of the room. If the boo is in one of those barrels, and you position Luigi facing down right with the vacuum out, Breaker Boo will charge at Luigi. This allows an extra 20 HP out of Breaker by following it all the way to the end of the room. 
While it does not ensure that you one cycle, it will allow you to potentially one cycle with one, two, maybe even three double cackles. And to be honest, that's really all there is to it. Breaker Boo One Cycle truly is a strat that you have to feel out and ram your head into over and over again until it just makes sense. There is no secret to make you consistent at this strat other than hard work. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below or come hang out in my chat while I'm doing runs live on Twitch. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more speedrunning content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.